Well, when I think about my time at Bank Street, uh, the first thing that comes to mind is the professors and their dedication to me and the development of my craft. Teaching is seen as a profession worth doing, as something that is not only important but critical. From day one, the expectation is there that teachers are going to be creative, that they're going to be questioning. When I knew I wanted to change careers, I wanted to get like a firm grounding in both theory and in like actual classroom instruction or how to be a teacher. We teach so that we can support children and our teaching should be centered around children. I chose to come to Bank Street for graduate school because there is a great amount of respect that is given to new teachers to be thinking about their students as human beings, as, as whole people, and how to care for them emotionally and academically. There's an incredible advisement program. My advisor came to observe me teaching in the classroom faithfully once every month, and right after that observation of a lesson that I've been teaching, we would be able to talk very specifically about the choices I made in that lesson, where do I see it going next, and how to move forward from there. And I think that that one-on-one -on -one individualized attention each month was just so instrumental in, in, in helping me to become a, a thoughtful and reflective teacher. Conference group is a weekly meeting of six or seven student interns or assistant teachers with their advisor, who's a professor at the school and has taught in the past and kind of leads the conversation around our experiences as new teachers. When I first heard about the advisory group, I was told that it was kind of one of the centerpiece components of a Bank Street education, and I thought, sure, I'm sure they have it everywhere and that's what they all say. And now that I've talked to other people in uh, graduate schools of education throughout the country, I found out it is quite unique. My experience as a graduate student at Bank Street has definitely changed me and um, I think just made me a more complete and whole learner. All of my classes in the graduate school have been really small classes where the professor really just makes it a conversational atmosphere where we're really bouncing ideas and thoughts off of each other. It is a very closely knit community that really cares about each other. So it's been really easy for me to get my questions answered and feel like I'm important and I'm cared about in this program. I think that all teachers should go through a master's program like the master's program at Bank Street. Or what is so important about the Bank Street experience is how much value the school and the teachers in the graduate school put on developing relationships with the teachers they work with. And not only did I develop relationships with my advisor, but with other professors that would come into my classroom. One of the classes at Bank Street that I feel like most helped me figure out whether the child-centered approach was working and whether this type of education is working for the kids in my class. It was the class in observation and recording. Over time, observing the kids, you can then start to make some generalizations and to, to find some patterns in what they're, they're doing and in their behavior and, and in their work. And then from there, you can, you can think about what you as a teacher need to do to help them grow. I'd gone to a college that was a very big place with many people in every classroom. And I wanted to be at Bank Street where I knew it was going to be smaller classes with instructors who were right there with you and listening to you. They knew so much about what they were teaching and then seeing us in a sense as the next wave going out and bringing that kind of passion into the classrooms. Growing up, it was pretty traditional education, um, you know, chairs in rows, um, listening to the teacher. And I knew that Bank Street was committed to a different style. I think the child-centered approach is about looking at the child as a complex being. There's an academic side, there's a social-emotional side, there's a physical side. And in order for a child to be really successful and to learn, you have to be sensitive to all those different aspects. Giving kids a chance to shine, to bring out the best in themselves, that to me is the best indication that I have that the child-centered approach is working in our classroom. 
I have learned so much about myself as um, a learner in addition to how to teach children as learners. Once you get into the second or third week of a course, students and student teachers get really fired up about, say, Hal Melnick's math course and the different games you can create and the different ways you can learn how students learn multiplication. They don't all learn multiplication the way we learn it. They don't all think about multiplication the way we learned it. I think there is an expectation to think about not just the content you teach, but how you're going to deliver that content, how you are going to help children bring their own experience to these new topics that they're encountering. And that's something that does require more work. But the authenticity of the learning that you can witness with your children is so magical. Having been a graduate student at Bank Street was like coming home to me. It made sense to me. I felt that everything I was learning was going to make sense to children. And it felt like saying, aha, this is what learning is.